a limit day. One, two, three, four, a limit day. <laughs> Hi, my name is Michal. I'm a full-time student at George Washington University in DC. And for the summer, I'm interning at a major PR firm in New York City. It's my favorite thing. My friends are really important to me. Um, we meet for lunch. We love to try different sushi restaurants. Sushi is my favorite food. My perfect guy is to be smart, funny, sensitive, but manly. A limited. <laughs> We're starting out in Bryant Park, which is in the center of the fashion district. I want to see if the guys are savvy dressers and if they can dress me also. Hi. I'm Todd. I'm Michal. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Todd Rubin. I'm an advertising sales assistant for a large cable network. My perfect girl is definitely smart and funny, beautiful, independent, motivated. I'm definitely looking for my soulmate. Hello. How are you? How do you do? I'm Dan. Hello. Nice to meet you. What's your name again? Michal. Michal. My name is Dan Skellen and I'm a Chippendale dancer. I perform nightly for countless screaming women and I just have a blast doing it. It's not a bad ego boost. Hundreds of women wanting me every night. This date is going to be pretty crazy. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm Michal. My name is Matt Sugarman and I work for a movie studio. My perfect girl, she's got class, but she's sexy, but not slutty. I grew up the son of two psychiatrists, and that'll help in this situation, definitely. Hi, Hi nice to meet you. I'm Hi, Dan. Paul. I'm Dan D'Oliveira. I work in the pharmaceutical industry. I played football for 14 years. With competition, I really have an edge because I've dealt with a whole bunch of people coming after me, and I really think that I understand what I have to do in order to defeat them. Okay, guys, so you're probably wa wondering why I brought you to Bryant Park today. It happens to be the center of the fashion district. You like yes. fashion? I love fashion. What, what, do you, what do you want? Of course. What are you doing this summer? I am working at a major PR firm in the city. Yes. What do you guys do? I'm a dancer. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. What kind of dance? Ah, uh, male review. First thing that went through my head is that he's really got to have a lot of confidence. He's fine if he's trying to work his way through college or, or support a kid like Demi Moore in striptease. Personally, I think it's trashy. Um, it's no competition right there. So I'm taking you guys to this private showroom. I chose to come to a showroom because I love designer cutting edge fashion. And he has some great clothes. We're going to go upstairs and try them on and see what kind of fashion we like. Thanks, sir. I'm a gentleman, so I like to open doors for girls. However, Dio walked through first. I kind of just went in right away. I just thought we were all going to go in together. Maybe he wasn't thinking. I don't know. Maybe he's not a gentleman. This is one of my favorite showrooms, and we're going to be looking at some designer fashion. Why don't you guys just check out the racks? And this is your lucky day, because today you get to choose what you want me to wear. I want to see what your tastes are like, so, you know, there's some other racks you over there. He picked out an outfit, held it up to himself. This looks a little too risky for me. I don't think I would ever wear that. No? Do you have a little risky? No. I don't think Dio knew what he was doing when he held up the clothes up to himself, I, unless he likes wearing women's clothing. I knew she would not like it. It did not seem like her personality. You know, something low cut like that, you know, showing a lot, it's, you know, it's kind of slutty. I like this. I'll see this. Hmm, this looks a little too low necked for me. All right, that I would try on. White and black. How about some shoes? Yeah, I'm digging it. Okay. Let's go with the white. So, I'm gonna go try this on. You guys keep looking. You like this? Yeah, I'm funny. I'm not really got this about the horse hair. No, you don't like that? What do you got? I got a little black nice over. Black and silver, casual. I think she's a bitch. No, no, no. no. It's a cute shirt, though. It's a cute shirt. Damn. You look nice. Yeah. I like it. Macau is a gorgeous, gorgeous girl. She has a little spunk, and I like that. I thought Mikhail is a very sexy girl. I think they need to call Jimi Hendrix, because that's a Jimi Hendrix. All right, look at it. Okay. With either the black, you can go with the white. You know, something that you can chill with, you can walk around like the city with. She's got a lot of options. Yeah, so okay, good. She hated you. She she like She's a little hot in my outfit picking up her. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, definitely. I think you're trying to call her a bitch by putting her in the shirt says bitch. Would never give that to a girl to wear. It's Definitely not gentleman-like. Whatever, I mean, I thought the shirt was cute. I thought it would, you know, look good. I'm oh. barefoot because you forgot my shoes. Oh, oh man. Oh. I had no idea I, I was supposed to, I thought she was gonna wear her own shoes or whatever she had on. I thought she had shoes in there. That's looking out for you, right? Shoes like 
<laughs> you didn't get me shoes? What are you doing? I have a couple, in case you didn't like the sheer, didn't feel comfortable yeah. wearing sheer, I got you Matthew this. Matthew brought me a cutoff skirt and this denim top with fringes. What do you guys think? Why would you pick some kind of tattered piece of clothing for a gorgeous girl like her to wear? She can't look better than anything. It's got look better. Better. That's like more of her look. You know? She looks like Cher in 1982. She looked a lot more sexy in my outfit. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I love your legs. I love the bottom. Incredible. The top doesn't work. No, nobody spray painted this, or my dog didn't show it off. This is class. It's wool. Gorgeous. Dio brought over this classy outfit, which I really liked. That's what I'm talking about. Very, uh, a little class. It's very Catherine Hepburn. Thank you. Nice. I think it was a little, <laughs> little too old <laughs> for her time. I, wasn't, I didn't like the color. Is it itchy? It looks kind of... It's, not, it's a little. Yeah. A little itchy. It's gorgeous. It's, it's gorgeous. He's thinking, hey. Maybe I like the guy who plans ahead. I think, I think being spontaneous is better. You know, planning ahead. You don't want to plan your whole life. So that's true, but you don't have much of a future. I have a big future. <laughs> the two of them just look like squabbling little kids. All right, so I've done all this modeling for you, and trust me, it's not easy. So I want you guys to experience it. One of you is going to show us your little runway walk, and I'm going to pick one of you to describe exactly what he's wearing, just like they do on the runways. I consider myself a good dresser. I've been told I'm a good dresser. Good time in a light blue shirt. I would definitely fill it out a lot more than he does. <laughs> Um, he's got black pants. Maybe a little too tight for me. Daniel, you know, bashed my whole outfit and come on, you can he's screwing with the wrong person when it comes to style. Dan's wearing a pair of pleated pants. I guess he doesn't realize that flat fronts are in this year. People just our age just don't wear pleated pants. And here comes Matt today, he'll be walking down the runway with another fashion faux pas wearing moccasins with those brown pants. In that blue shirt. I hardly see how you can call them moccasins, especially since they're from a designer in Italy. I've only received compliments on them in the past. Black shoes. Um, it looks like navy pants, but I think they're a little too big for him. Definitely looks like he uh, took a dump in his pants. He's a good looking guy too, but I wasn't checking out his butt. Well, now that I've seen your style, I'm going to go back and decide which it won't be an eagerly awaited decision. Alright, oh. so I made my decision and I could not decide between Dan and Todd, so I did a little combination of both. Oh, the board so. People look at your shirt more than they look at the pants, and I, mean, I felt good. Coming up, who will McCall cut first? I think uh, Dio is going to get eliminated because he showed no class. I think that Dio is going to get the axe in this round. I predict that Dio is going to get the axe in this round. Um, for some reason, I just have this feeling that um, he's not the type of guy that she's looking for. Todd, you got to go. Eliminated. <laughs> Who do you think Mihal will eliminate first? Dio, Dan, Todd, or Matt? That was a really, really hard decision. I liked all of you, but I have to say that I'm going to eliminate Dio. Oh, Sorry. man. Yeah, but you know, he, you are. I think the other guys reacted pretty relieved because if I didn't go the first round, I would probably win the whole thing. When Dan opened the door for me and Dio cut right in, I knew that I was going to eliminate him. He was loud obnoxious and pushy. Settle down a little bit, you know, take it easy, you know, be a little more smooth and a little more chill. In the next round, to test the boys, we're going to an upscale lunch. I wanted to test and whether they had any manners and ah! get a double door. their culinary expertise, different foods and exotic tastes here. Um, they have really good food, and I thought you guys would really enjoy it. You like French food? I love French food. First, I think we're going to have some champagne. Um, anyone want to open it? Sure. I'm gonna pop it over here. Broke a window in the college house doing that. Ooh. Ooh, very good. Gave it a pop and uh, poured it. And I was really impressed by that. Anybody can pop a champagne cork. Doesn't mean you're an expert. What did you major in school? I had a double major and a double minor. I did uh, wow. sociology and politics, a minor in theater and legal studies. I'm actually heading back to school for a law degree for entertainment law. So education is really important to you? Definitely. The lawyer thing, you know, really uh, seemed to top it off for her. Okay, I'm going to order for them. For Matt, uh, caviar. 
cod foie gras for you. Sounds great. And Dan, the mussels. Oh, oysters, actually. Oysters. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have you ever cheated on your girlfriend? I have cheated before, but that mm -hmm. is um, a special situation. Mm -hmm. They but all are. I'm, I'm, uh, there are certain circumstances that, you know, it's going to happen. Friends of mine had said, it's not really cheating if you're in a different state. I mean, no matter if you're drunk, you're still cheating. There's no excuse to cheat. Cheating's cheating. My first girlfriend, I actually did. And I told her about it the next day, and we talked it over, and um, she forgave me. Really? Never cheated on her again. Although she cheated on me. <laughs> that looks delicious. This. this is gorgeous, isn't it? Very Unbelievable. I want to see if you guys know actually how to eat I don't this have, food. I'll tell you right now, I don't have a clue. It kind of shows a little bit of his, um, I don't know, lack of sophistication. I've yeah. never had muscles. So well, you know, honesty is it's great good. quality. So I'm going to help you out. He was put on the spot and he was honest and it was a good response. Like your food. Exotic. Exotic, yes. exactly. It's exotic. So would you have it again, do yes. you think? No. No. <laughs> so you're not enjoying it. <laughs> it's not bad, but I would not eat it. Again. Okay. I honestly it's never ate exotic food. From what I ate today, I probably won't eat any more exotic food. I'm craving a sweet. So I think you guys should run down to the kitchen and make me some dessert. You want some dessert? Mm -hmm. And you want us to make it? And I want to be satisfied, so it better be good. Yeah, it'll be good. It's very rare for a French chef to let you in his kitchen. I'm Didier Biro, so I'm going to show you a few desserts. Something very simple, but I'll give you a bit of... It might be dangerous with this No, it's not dangerous. No, no, it might be, though. No, 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 A little bit of glaze around. Oh. Forget it, you have to stop again. I'm sure I messed up on mine. <laughs> Don't put too much juice. The same thing, the same, uh, the same shape. I would have liked a way to be a little bit more creative, like spell her name out in fruit or something. I can get like a cover for it, so when I, I can go voila. You can say voila. I can say voila. Voila. The desserts were amazing. I loved how the guys knew what they were giving me. I have a yuzu sobe. This is uh, nectarines with a peach chutney. Mmm. Mmm, that's fantastic. Yeah. All right. I had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> this is a cream brulee mm -hmm. with uh, caramelized sugar mm -hmm. and usually be from Malaysia or China. Would you like to try? I'm really impressed. Mm. Good. The highlight of my performance was when we had to present the desserts. This is um, a basil cake with lime sorbet mm -hmm. and a citrus salad. I think you'll like the passion fruit. Okay. She had to take the spoon from him and, you know, kind of feed herself. Who will Michal cut next? Todd will probably get the axe this round because Mikel showed, showed a lot more interest in me and Matt. Matthew's going to get the axe in this round. Todd definitely distinguished himself as the one to drop. Eliminate. <laughs> Is Mihal going to eliminate next? Matt, Dan, or Todd? So now, unfortunately, I have to eliminate somebody. I'm going to have to eliminate Matt because sometimes I thought you were being a little show-offish, and that really just turned me off. Um, but you were so nice, and it was a really, really tough choice. Thank you. It was nice. Thanks. I thought that Todd was going to get the access round. Um, and I thought he came off as kind of a, a boob. Right? It might be dangerous with this toy. No, it's not dangerous. No, no, it might be, though. You know, just kind of like bumbling along. But of course, I thought Dan was a close second. I'll tell you right now, I don't have a clue. Matthew was pissed. I could tell on his face and his expressions, he definitely wasn't happy. I think he sort of like knew that he was not going to be caught. Probably a reason I caught him also. She's making a mistake. I think that I'm better of the three, but it's all in whoever's eyes. In the next round, I will test the last two guys on their knowledge of the finer things in life. All right, guys, you have the key to this place. You have the key to my heart. In this round, we went to the Diamond District to a private showroom. Yes. Oh. Hi. Wow. Thank you for coming Hello. to Ultimate Design. Thank you. Hello. 
Welcome to my world. Oh, wow. What I didn't this? know what was going on. Diamonds. Ooh. I saw the diamonds and the rings. I got a little scared. Her taste didn't scare me at all. I'm telling you the truth, I'm used to it. I think it's gorgeous. One person, you got something. Necklace. Definitely. I'm gonna go with the green necklace on the end. Dan definitely is out of his league. It's, it's simple but elegant. It's simple but elegant. No, I like it. Sweet. Green emerald and marquee shaped diamond necklace. Gorgeous. Zero. Can they yes. put it on for me? Sure. Okay. All right. No problem. And would you like to show I don't think Todd was telling the truth. I mean, if he had to buy this, I think he'd be in a lot of trouble. It's true. You know, I meant no problem. You know, I would have no problem buying something like that. Beautiful stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Look at that. Well, I think we put it in upside down. It's beautiful. Upside down? Mm -hmm. Upside down. I'm sorry. Fix it? Either way, upside down looks beautiful. It's very never be a beautiful woman. Good <laughs> thing. You know, it's not. It can always be fixed. It wasn't. Anything, you know, it wasn't a big deal. Ah, oh. you had trouble putting it on, but it's a great pick. Thank you. Dan chose the emerald diamond necklace. What do you think here? Well, I'm not saying that I love blue, but I think this it looks, looks great too. Yeah. Incredible. I definitely like my Good pick. You I, do? I do. Why? I think the diamonds, it just shines on you. It's gorgeous. It's just like... You don't think the color looks good on me? No. I wasn't implying that, you know, the piece looked horrible on her. The color does look good on you, but I think that looks beautiful on you. Todd's choice was better. I'm the diamond classic type. Simple. It was classy. It was elegant. You guys have such good taste. I don't know how to differentiate. I have one more question for you guys. Sure. For our second date, how would you propose to ask me out? What would we do? And you really have to win me over because I have to decide between you guys. I get on one date. <laughs> You'll be like, I love you with all my heart. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> I don't think I did. When Todd proposed to marry her, I think that was a little too much. I don't know if it's really realistic, but it was really creative, which scored points. I want her to get a glimpse of how it would be in the future, because that's the most important part. And for me. Yes. And I would probably cook you a, a nice Italian dinner at home. You know, get down on one knee. And I would ask you for a second date. I'd say, would you please go out with me one more time? Oh, that's so Dan screwed up totally, and she was like, you know, yeah anything else and he didn't know what to say. Oh, guys. Oh, Will it be Dan or Todd? Mihal's final cut is next. I'm definitely going to win. I think Mikhail should walk away with me because we've had a connection all day long. How can you bring a Chip and Dale dancer back to, back to your parents? A limited day. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is it. The final cut. It was such a hard decision, really, really. I really like both of you. So I'm going to have to eliminate Todd. Even yep. though you were saying what Can't I wanted to all, hear. You know? No, but it really seemed yeah, like that's really what you were time. doing. But thank you so much. I was shocked. I, th I think we both were shocked. I'm happy that I won. It's She's a great girl. I think we had a connection all day. I just think it's it's not going to work out, straight up. How is it going to look when, when she brings him home? When I first saw Dan, I was hoping the other guys weren't as cute as he was, but I was disappointed. He's definitely cute.